This tutorial will introduce you to Origin 8's LabVIEW connectivity capabilities. On the left, you will see that I am using the 6009 simple LV71 example. This is one of many built-in VIs in Origin's LabVIEW sample subfolder. This VI was created to acquire data from a National Instrument 6009 device, which is just a small A to D converter. Its most visual component is a graph panel object to display incoming data. If I press Ctrl E, I see the block diagram for this VI. LabVIEW is an excellent tool for data acquisition and instrument control, but if you need to analyze your data either in real time or in post processing, Origin is a good complement since Origin provides a lot of graphing and analysis power with a point and click interface. By just using a few Origin sub VIs, you can send the data as it is being collected to Origin. Once in Origin, you have all of Origin's tools at your disposal, allowing you to inspect and analyze your data during the acquisition stage. In this example that I am showing, you need only two Origin-specific sub-VIs. The first one is an initialization sub-VI that constructs an Origin project and prepares it to receive the waveform data. The second sub-VI sends the waveform data to an origin worksheet. To do this, it takes a reference to an origin worksheet that was created from the first origin sub-VI. The waveform bundle can be channeled to this origin sub-VI just like it is to the LabVIEW graph panel object, as you can see here. Origin 8 provides four palettes of sub-VIs, so you have complete flexibility in controlling Origin from your LabVIEW VI. Here is the Origin Classics palette. These sub-VIs are present in Origin 8 only for backward compatibility with older versions of Origin. It is better to use the newer sub-VIs provided in the other palettes when creating new applications. The other three palettes provide newer sub-VIs, which are more efficient and much easier to use. To help visually identify the new sub-VIs, they all share the same appearance, including the palette icon. They all say OA on the top in an orange banner with their function icon in green. This is the Origin App palette. These are the basic sub-VIs that handle the Origin OPJ files and access to Origin worksheets and columns. This is the Origin Matrix palette. These sub-VIs are for setting and getting data from Origin Matrix objects in an Origin project. Here is the Origin Waveforms palette. This group of sub-VIs is for handling LabVIEW waveform data, the same type of data that you would typically wire into a chart in LabVIEW. Origin has native waveform support in worksheet columns, so these sub-VIs allow you to directly connect a waveform to Origin. Now I will run the LabVIEW VI. You can see the data streaming in from the A to D converter, being displayed by LabVIEW and Origin simultaneously. I happen to have a solar cell connected to the converter so I can measure voltage when the cell is exposed to different intensities of light. If I cover the solar cell with my hand slowly, we can see the voltage drop as I block the light from the cell. As I move my hand away from the solar cell, the higher voltage signal returns. Now I do not have to wait for the experiment to be completed before I can do some exploration and analysis. For example, let me now use Origin to perform a quick FFT. I will use the magnifier tool on the raw data to zoom in to a region that spans where the cell was covered and then uncovered. I select Analysis, Data Exploration, Quick FFT tool. The Quick FFT provides a yellow range indicator to set the region of interest on the raw data for the FFT. When I look at the results, I can see that there are frequency spikes at every 60 Hz.
These are simply harmonics due to the 60 Hz AC line powering the fluorescent lights above. If I set the region of interest to where the cell was covered, I see the harmonic spikes disappear. As you can see, it is very easy to use Origin to perform exploration and analysis even as the raw data continues to stream in. Thank you for watching.